YouTube once again. <clears throat> it is, well, now 11.30. And I am con consistently, I guess, making a video right after the other. First one was, well, what I used. And now I decided, why not make a, uh, make a, uh, let's see, a new project. If I had the chance, that's my song that's coming up soonish. Uh, I don't know when, but anyways. Anyways, this is a tutorial. I thought, why not build a tutorial on how to make an effective um, dubstep sound. Now, I can't really show you the magic trick. I mean, what you really have to do is um, you do what sounds good. You you test out new stuff. You like do something crazy. Go to a horn and do a French horn. And then you know, put your de basic dub, like the automatic filter, which I'll show you in a minute, which I'm not showing you now, but then I'll show you kind of what about it in a minute, and here you go. If I get my little thing out. Uh, where did it is it? There we go. Okay. You can barely hear that. But, you know, you have a French horn dubstep. whoopie dee doo Basel. That was really gay, but okay. Um, so yeah, you're just it's really just to test things out not that you would actually use a French horn But whatever so I'm just going to kind of start from scratch. I'm just deleting that instrument <coughs> and so So what we first what is dubstep? Dubstep from what I've heard like when I s first started hearing dubstep. I heard fast um, Crazy when it when it's actually at the dubstep part. It's very scratchy. It's, like, it's almost like metal on steroids and I'm not really I can't really say that they're two different things but like yeah so um that's kind of what you want you want a fast paced moving exciting piece and a thing that I've been finding with people is that it's very very slow the the dubstep is very slow and it's just kind of they might actually have a really cool intro and it, it it builds up it builds up and then the actual dubstep comes in it's like what just happened it's like like latino dub music and it's just ridiculous so um what i'd actually got this from someone else on youtube that when they were doing a tutorial to my first song um this is what i used i went up to um 140 beats per minute um which actually seems like a pretty decent tempo one two three four you kind of have doomed 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 Doom, doom, you know what I mean. Whatever comes to mind, and um, so it, it, you can go faster, you can go slower, but you be careful. I, I mean, I, I think dubstep is gonna eventually make new genres within dubstep. Like the slow is like the light rock in I guess now genre. Fast paced is like the heavy metal screamo, whatever. It's still kind of somewhere. And then I wonder what kind of country dubstep would be. And I love my Actually, that was a little too fast. I think I need to slow it down there. I love my Wooka Wooka Wooka. Yeah, it's really late and I kind of get stupid. It's okay. Anyways, I'm going to start a new instrument. There we go. So, you pretty much have to build your instrument from scratch. Um, I mean, there's no. You, you could pick a um like a instrument already built for you and then kind of take the dub idea into it it i wouldn't suggest it right away i mean maybe for just kind of testing things out but they don't serve they don't you know do their like they don't serve the right idea um so this is what i was on a different tutorial but like other people has done this. This is kind of like you know, um, very broad knowledge. And if if you're new to it, great. I hope this is a um, good first like helper for you. So you have all these different analog things. These are your um, trancey, basic, just um, techno like sounds. I, I there's so many like trance and techno and experiment I, I don't know any of those things but anyways this is like the like they're not real instruments however that that yeah they're computerized so i would suggest a mono but there's other things you could do it because like all of it's focused on one 
<coughs> one uh, note. And sorry, I have to cough a lot because I'm know, making or getting over a cold. <coughs> but anyways, <coughs> all the sound focuses on one instrument or one note, other than like a whole bunch of notes. That's why when you are um, trying to hit two notes, it goes between one of them because you can't do two of them because that's you know mono means one. And so I would click here. This is where your part of your individuality comes out. You have all these different settings, and you have. Well, I actually made this, but you can make um, preset. You can do like use what these guys use, whatever. Actually, but that was one of my first things, and it sounds ridiculous. I don't know what this is. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Anyways, but I didn't make that. But yeah, you can use any of these things, or you know, you can use your own. If you can't hear that, it's kind of like, it's like opening up a little bit. And this kind of sounds cool. From a bright sound to a hollow sound. The bright sound kind of sounds a little more front. And the hollow is kind of, you know, open, whatever. Um, you know, cut off. You know, you just kind of test around. So we'll make one real quick. Um, just make it really bright, and you no, know, you want something really like kind of fast. Uh, I don't know, because I mean this is only part of the battle here. Next, let's not do the actual. Th actually. Yeah, let's do it. So, with the intensity pretty much all the way up. Because, if not, you have no grunt, uh, crunch. And the resonance, you want all the way low. The um, reason why it's not, like, you know, wobbling up is because eight bars. Yeah, let's make it faster. Whoopity doo. Okay. So, that's kind of the basic thing. I mean,. You can't make a setting, this is what my dub is going to sound like from this. You will always be changing it if you want to make a good dub so uh, dub song, pretty much. Because you don't want to have the same thing going on. You want it to be moving. You want it to be exciting. You want it to be like flash, like all over the place. Um, another thing I like to do is distortion. And it's better to have it bright. Because you want, you want that... A bright grr sound, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. You could stop there if you want to. Or you can go ahead and put a bit crusher. I kind of like to have the bit crusher really sing out. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you can do some of this to make it sound even more crunchy. Um, preferably, don't use too much refurb. Unless you're wanting it for some reason, um, I would not suggest it. Um, and the compressors, this is this won't really affect your tone. It since these are fake instruments, they're so loud by themselves. You probably won't need a compressor. If you do, I mean that's what they're for. It'll bump up the sound. It can balance your noises if it's too loud, like the highs are too high and the lows are too high. Or lows are too low, and blah blah blah, and you get to balance them and just kind of play around with it. Okay, so um, with the dubstep song, you, I mean, you could do whatever you want. You could start with the dubstep. You can make an intro. I at the moment I'm making intros to get into the dubstep song. Um, I'm gonna experiment around with it as I go, <coughs> but um, okay, I really like to talk a lot, and I don't really get to actually get to what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, okay, so now you want to make a beat. Um, I'm going to make something I made. It's kind of, it's just pretty much a drum kit with a bit crusher on it. There's another thing called a two-step remix that's actually on a, on a, on a pack. And you can put distortion. <coughs> Sounds kind of retarded through these speakers, but uh, if you work with it, 
in my song Love Sucks right after the when I made um right after when I oops come on. Right after when I made what the um that's what I used for Love Sucks. And not very many views went on that one, so if you want to see that one, it's actually it's not bad. It's just a new idea, but whatever. Um so yeah, go check that out if if you don't want to, then you know what? That's fine. I'll just hunt you down and then take your dog and then eat you. Just kidding. Awkward silence. Anyways, so you want to start off with a beat. Um, I really don't know. So, because, like, you don't, you can't make music on the fly. And sometimes I do that, but it's not the best thing. Like, um, let's see. Because music, you. It, it takes you, you know? Yeah, there we go. We'll use that. Though I'm just below... Noodles. Delete. I'm not going to make it under 15 minutes. I might have to split it between two tutorials, which will suck. There's a little thing, which I actually normally make the beat after I make the dubstep, but for just now, why not? So, uh, gosh, so I'm not going to make an actual effective dub thing, because really, I have, in my other songs, I have like four different dubstep song, or sounds going at the same time, so I would suggest make a dubstep thing like this, save it, click and save, uh, anyways, whoa, that's a lot of deletes. That is sick. Just whatever. Okay, so <coughs> um, you just name it, then go to the next thing, and then you find the next cool sound that sounds good. No bit crusher. See that? And then with bit crusher, two different sounds. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of go around and find s just new things. Um, I have what I use, um, uh, in another video, previous video. So if you want to see what I use, um, you can check that out. So, uh, oh gosh. Okay. So I guess I'm going to try to make a little song here or like a good one measure or four measures, a phrase and uh, um, whatever, let me just do something, oops, normally it lets me count in, but they didn't want to count in this time, there we go, so I, whenever I record, I never get it right on, right on tempo, just because the, um, the key, uh, like the keyboard that I use, which is actually the keyboard, not like some uh, MIDI keyboard. There's a lag between, which kind of is annoying, because when I like find a like a theme idea, um, and I want to record right now, it always just sounds off. But okay, so I mean. I mean, I would probably never do this for a dubstep song, but I mean, like, you get the idea. Oh, let's get this tempo thing off. It's retarded. And then, biggest thing, never have the whole thing in one thing, unless or one one speed, unless you have other uh, other dubstep things taking over. 